Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters out back out to fly again. Um, I decided to make a new plane kind of after I was a little bit disappointed with how the differential thrust and rudder worked on the FF Supersonic. And you know, I kind of thought it might be that way when I first building it, you know, because it's so long and the motors are kind of close together and they're far back from the center of gravity. So, you know, after flying that, I wasn't really happy with how the rudder worked, you know, just more made it go into a roll then uh, really made the yaw work real good and same with the uh, differential thrust. So, you know, I had an uh, idea in my mind that I threw together real quick and that was this plane here, which basically I'm calling the FF Stingray because it kind of looks like a manta ray or a stingray, you know, the overall shape. Uh, so that's kind of the initial name that I wanted to pick for it. Um, but basically it's got two front motors. It's um, kind of a delta flying wing. Um, these motors are definitely a lot closer to the CG line, the CG, um, at least on the um, little chuck glider I made was right here where the uh, motor line and the um, wing root meet. So that's kind of where the CG is. So the uh, motors are, you know, pretty near the CG line. So that should, you know, be a lot closer to the axis of turning. Um, and again, they're wider um, positioned, you know, than they were on the FF supersonic. And so hopefully they'll have a little more leverage to do the yaw control. Basically, I also put a rudder on this plane and I have it on switches where I can turn the rudder on and off and same with the differential thrust so I can test them individually to um, see what has the best effect. Um, these are the motors that were on the original um, FF Supersonic. Um, this is the F40 T motors um, on that. Uh, original flight on the FF Supersonic, it was uh, going over 70 miles an hour. So this plane is about 10 ounces lighter. Um, overall, all up weight is 21 and a half ounces um, versus about 30 ounces for the FF Supersonic. So um, we'll get this thing uh, thrown in the air for the main flight. Hopefully it flies. And you know, after I get it adjusted, I'll start testing out the rudder and the differential thrust. Oh, and also one note about the rudder. You know, I made it so, you know, half of the rudder's basically kind of below the wing line and a little bit more than half above so hopefully that won't you know induce as much roll um, it is kind of far back on the back of the plane out back um, but hopefully that'll give a good yaw control without too much um, tilt in the roll so we'll get that tested out <laughs> so basically let me get this thing plugged in we'll do some testing and hopefully it takes off and flies okay on the main flight okay guys here goes nothing main flight Okay, let's see. I do have a bit of up trim on in it that I usually do. So, dang, this thing's pretty touchy in the pitch. Okay, it's flying. Let's see, still pulling up quite a bit. So you're trying to get it to level out. Too much. Okay, I think we got the pitch about worked out. Okay, and that's only about a quarter of a throttle. It's nice and quiet with the motors out front. At least at low RPM. Okay, I flipped the differential thrust on. Whoa, that's making it roll. <laughs> oh, wait, I got, I had the rudder on still. So the rudder looked like it was making it roll a little bit. Let's see, just with differential thrust. Yeah, even differential thrust is still making it kind of roll. That's a weird differential thrust 
twist. So it makes the plane kind of twist. So I don't know if I have to use a bit of aileron to counter that. Huh. So it's definitely a bit weird. Okay. There's differential thrust. I was hoping it would do some like flat spins, but Oh, that was a weird differential roll, barrel roll. There, so that, yeah, I don't know, let's make it totally twist. So I was hoping it would like pull it straight on the yaw control. So let me turn the differential thrust off. Let me try the rudder. Okay, right. So rudder, hit the right one. So the rudder's definitely make it roll over still a bit. So there's rudder turn with using aileron to counter the roll. So still, I might need to trim a little off the top of the rudder, you know, so I, I want to try and get it where it does a yaw without so much roll so you don't have to use as much rudder but overall i'm happy it just flies <laughs> yeah that's... it's a little hard to tell the orientation today the lighting's kind of bad you can't really see the orange when it's tilted or the blue on top a lot of clouds today Overall, this thing flies pretty good though. Um, it is a little touchy in the pitch, so I might have to turn that down just a bit. I do have fairly big um, elevons, you know, they almost span the whole wing. And it is short, you know, front to back. So that definitely, you know, like all flying wings are a bit more pitchy. There's top speed, woo. Yeah, right now I'm just running a 1500 milliamp 4S battery. And again, like I said, these are the same motors I originally had on the uh, FF Supersonic for the first flight when it, I think it did 74 miles an hour. So this plane should probably, I would guess, do about 80 with these motors and the weight. That was a top speed right now, maybe about 75. So again, you know, the yaw control with the differential thrust and the rudder are a little bit less than what I was hoping for. Um, I think I need to uh, dial it in a little bit more and do some more testing. But, you know, for a real fast plane that I just kind of threw together in like two days, not too bad, you know, and I'm just happy it's flying. So this will be a plan I'll finish up and uh, I'll put this in the free plans um, page on our website once it's done, you know, because it is such a simple plane, not much to it. And it's really flying pretty good. So I may have to figure out some mixing um, to add in with the differential thrust. Like I said, it does seem like it makes it do some weird barrel rolls, you know, when I crank on the uh, differential thrust. So um, if you guys have any ideas on how to make you know that yaw control better uh, if you have experience you know using differential thrust and rudders on planes uh, definitely put your comments in the uh, comments list below i'm always open for everybody else's input you know to make things better and i guess you know do you guys like the name ff stingray or do you want to name it something different you know if you have a better name put it also in the comments
So for the most part right now, I'm just flying kind of, you know, the usual bank and yank. That's actually what I'm most familiar with. Um, it does turn with the rudder. Um, I might need to crank that up a little bit. It did seem like it's not very authoritative. Um, you know, after I add in the, the aileron to counter the roll. So maybe I'll make it a little longer. And like I said, make it a little more even for, with the top and bottom what's above and below the wing with the rudder to help you know try and keep that roll to a minimum but it is a nice flying plane i'm pretty surprised you know, like i said i designed it and built it within like two days so And you know, doing the uh, CG finding with the chuck gliders with the uh, smaller size basic version, it seems like it, you know, usually always gets me pretty close. So, you know, I used a small chuck glider to find the CG for this shape, and it seems like it's pretty much right on. Now, you could probably make this a really a fast plane if you put some you know higher kv motors on here maybe even a, a higher us battery um, but right now that wasn't what i was going for with this plane you know i was just building this to try and make a plane that'll you know, do some flat spins and um, have a very authoritative uh, yaw control you know with the differential thrust and rudder so i think i need to extend the rudder a little bit and like i said maybe add a little bit of mixing in with the uh, differential thrust I don't know if those motors are just putting out, you know, too much torque, you know, when you have just one motor going. So it's making it roll pretty hard. Okay, guys, I'm going to bring it around and bring it in. Let's see if I can land it without hitting all these little weeds out here in the bottom of this field. Let me go around one more time. That'll be so high. Ooh, right in the scrubs. Okay, that's the main flight of the FF Stingray.